Okay, everybody, this is part three. So part two and part one are up here and down there, so you can find them. Uh, in this video, we'll be finishing up Don't Mess On My Tempo Love Shot Repackage, and we'll be doing Bad Dream Damage, Smile On My Face, and Oasis. I know, Oasis, I know, we're ready. Runaway, when Runaway came out, everyone was like, you need to hear Oasis. I'm like, okay. And then I heard like a split second of Oasis, and I, I, I like took my headphones off. I was like, nope, I can't do this. So... Let's get into the video. <laughs> and if you're just finding my channel, please subscribe to me down below. You can follow me on Twitter for updates and other stuff and comment down below so I can chat with you guys. Okay, bad dream. Ooh. Oh, sorry, that, that little riff reminded me of another song. Is it like a... Justin Timberlake song or a Danny Ferrandez song? Ah. God, I that's gonna piss me off. Okay, whatever. Put an encounter. Oh, why are you whispery? Oh no, this is like a <laughs> this is like an R and B song. Put an into Put an into What is this doing? <laughs> Ooh, that lyric. All of my good memories are dyed in the color of regrets. That's so beautiful. Oh my god. That might be one of my favorite lines I've heard read in an EXO song. All of my good memories, all of the things that you loved are, n now that you're thinking back, are filled with regrets and things that you could have changed are dyed in the color of regrets. That's so pretty. Oh, wow. I love that line. <laughs> Wow. I love the meaning of a song of the person that you had broken up with fills your head so much that it's like a storm. It's like a wind. It's a constant thing that you're hearing and everything else becomes very much more um, present, like the sound of the clock ticking or colors of regret or your bad dreams. And it's like all of these feelings are causing a storm inside you and also everything outside you're like perceiving at a higher rate, like you're just paying attention to everything because you can't really focus because if you focus too much on what you're thinking, it's there's so many feelings. I love the meaning of a song. I love the lyrics of a song. The actual flow of the song I'm so confused by. It's, it seems very fast paced, but it also has an R&B start. 
Very EXO. Uh. Ah, I fucking love these lyrics. And the sound of like the flute, like the wind. This is another one of those songs where I feel like, I don't know if it's just me that's ever felt like this because I mentioned it quite a bit, how the music kind of drowns them out a little bit, their voices, like I want to hear them a little bit more clearly production wise. This is another one where I feel like I want to hear their vocals a little bit more clearly than that beat, but I'm still enjoying it because it's just something you kind of have to get used to. That's how the song is. But I would like if it was re-recorded or something to hear the instrumental a little quieter. Oh. Ah, that little... Ah. Which is the same like flow from the beginning, the same instrumental. Ooh. Oh, what was that rhyme? Oh, he just kept going and it went so low and the music cutting out. After the, the like pairing with Channel and Becky and then Sehun and Kyungsu, like that is so nice. <laughs> like, where do you take your first breath? Hold on. <laughs> All one breath for that line from the start. Oh boy. Wow, this album just keeps getting better. Oh. 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 Oh, that's so good. Just the fact that it was Sehun and Channel. Oh, I love that. So far, this is like a no skip at all. Like, every single thing was good. Like, I feel like some things I have to warm up to a little bit more, but all overall, every single song has been good and it's been very different. I feel like it's quite experimental of an album, um, which I haven't really heard much of like i know they've gotten more and more experimental since like exodus since exact exact was super exper experimental so since then it's been on and off like how much the songs have differed from each other or how much they've been experimenting with instrumentals and their voices and stuff in different songs but i feel like this one especially uh comparing to the last album before countdown what was before countdown god you know what i'm talking about whichever album um, I feel like this one's definitely more experimental and they're doing different different things, but it still feels like XO, as usual.
Oh, so good so far. Okay, next song. Fuck was that? Woo! Okay, okay. A lot of lying in this album. A lot of lying talking about that. Oh, oh, his voice with that beat coming in. Oh, what's of course going to be? Oh, that's so great. More, that's so much more aggressive than I would have expected from them. They're like shouting instead of singing. What is happening? Okay, what? I love that Kyung Soo and Shuma are like shouting. Kind of reminds me of older EXO songs, like back Wolf era EXO songs. It's got so much rap, like it's got so much harder hitting beats and vocals. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 Oh, perfect for switching. I feel like all the lyrics, they're, they're hurt. They're hurting. <laughs> Whatever the fuck this person did. Jesus, all of them. Like, this person is awful. This is nuts. I don't know. The lyrics are just so... It's almost like telling a story, too. Like, I feel like all of them could connect different points of the relationship. I thought that was Chen. Wow. Wow. Okay. That sound is completely different. With that beat coming in and Kyung's vocals, they sound completely different than Suha. To put two songs together. Oh, yes! Wait! <laughs> Wait, I said it sounded like some of their older songs. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. That's just... 
Go way back. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that just made my day. X. Oh. I love that chick. Oh, the little pies, the little pies. Okay, back in. Go! Go off. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, that was so cool. That was just cool. They did so many different things. Oh, that was awesome. Where, what, what, there's no, what style is this album? <laughs> what style is this? I don't even know. Okay. Jesus. Okay. One more song before Oasis. Smile on my face, which makes me think it's slower. Okay, maybe. Oh, it sounds like it would build up, though. That's already catchy. You already know that's catchy. I did it all with a smile on my face. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. Break up album. The little like shakiness in the voice. So nice. reminds me of songs from maybe the late 2000s I would have listened to like it sounds like not quite valid pop song like one oh god I'm so bad at explaining things but it sounds like the tempo of it the beat of it sounds like other songs that I would have listened to years and years ago that I love still to this day like I love this it's very simple which I appreciate
So soft. Oh, ending on Suho and Chen. Chen, such soft, whispery vocals. Such a good idea. That, like, leaves you with something with that song, I feel like. You, like, come away with something. How do I like every song more and more as we go through this album? Because I didn't start this... I feel like part one, I wasn't enjoying them as much as I am as we get later in. Oh, it's so crazy. Like, I feel like the actual progression of the album is really good, which sometimes it's not. Sometimes it is, but with EXO albums, I found that sometimes the progression is quite weird to me. This one is progressing very, very nicely. And then we have Oasis, the big boy. Okay, let's get into that. Runaway was my... On Don't Fight the Feeling, which still hasn't fucking come. I don't want to talk about it. Runaway that still hasn't... <laughs> don't Fight the Feeling that still hasn't come. Runaway is my second favorite song, because Paradise is my all-time... Still my all-time favorite EXO song. Um, Runaway is second. Runaway, I instantly had an attachment to. And I know a lot of other people did as well, and I know a lot of people loved it because of Oasis. So... I'm expecting, like, I don't know what the similarity is between them, but I would expect, because Runaway has that bridge part where they're all singing together, it's emotional, I expect it to be something like that, like, harmony and emotional. Ah, <laughs> you sold me, you sold me, you had a little pause. Love those. Oh. Ah, human's voice. So like scratchy. Whoa. I don't think I've really heard him with a scratchy tone like that. Wow. That's like s directly runaway is directly like an homage to this. All the pauses. Beautiful. 
this is not what I expected at all, but I definitely see the comparison even in the lyrics for Runaway. I, oh God, like, I need to listen to Runaway right after this. To... <laughs> It's interesting because this album has been all about heartbreak, fucking all of it. And this is kind of about going forward together on this journey. Like, it seems more about them than it is about, like, the person in a relationship. What a good way to end the album. Obviously not in the, the repackage because there's the Chinese versions of Love Shot and Tempo, but in general, such good way to end the album. Adlib. It's so good. Hold on. I love this album. I really love this album. And if you guys watch my unboxings and stuff and follow me on Twitter and all that, you know that I have it. I have pretty much every single EXO album or it's coming. Um, but I haven't actually taken a look through this because I don't like I first of all, I, I don't justify my purchases unless I like the album. So I got this hoping I would like it. And here we are, and I love this album. So, Tempo Sign, Ooh La La, Gravity With You, 24-7, Bad Dream, Damage, Smile On My Face, Oasis, Tempo. Tempo's, oh, Tempo, Chinese version, yes, so Oasis. Obviously not the Love Shot repackage, so Trauma isn't on this, and Wait isn't on this. Wait is a great song, so I think I have the Love Shot repackage coming, I'm not sure. I forget, but I definitely have Don't Mess Up My Tempo, and... I'm going to flip through it. Screw it. Why not? So, usually I do like a unboxing, not an unboxing stream, but like a photo book flip through stream. But, you know, we can do a little quickie, a little quick, not, oh, that didn't sound right. A little quick flip through. Um, This is the, what is this? The ad, what's it called? This version? I forget what the versions are called. I believe mine's version A. <laughs> it's sort of. Advante, adv I don't know. I got this Chen little postcard, and I do have like a photo card, but all my photo cards are in here. I am sure I've showed it to you guys before. Um, I think it's Kangsu. I think it's Kisu. I really don't want to do any editing on this last part, so I'm just going to keep talking as I try to find it. This is just like a live stream, except for no one's here to talk to me. It is Kesu. Doing a little thumbs up. I'm sure I've showed you guys all my Kyungsu photo cards before, so this is not new information, I'm sure. But whatever. Anyways, let's do a little flip through. I don't really know how to do this. I'm bad at this. Oh, he looks so good. I kind of wanted this version for channel, I'm not gonna lie. He looks really good. Like, hello, sir? Sir? Oh my god, yeah. Like, I wanted this version for this man. He looks amazing. Ah. <laughs> Not like you guys haven't seen these before, but... Hi looks great, too. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Oh my god. Like, model, 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 model. 
D okay. Did your is that like leopard print too? That is. Oh my god. Ah. I ah, look so good too. Of course he does. Look at him. I don't know why I'm doing this. I really don't. Oh, I thought that was his stomach. Oh my god, I thought that was his stomach, but it's just his, uh, his pouch. He has a pouch. He looks incredible. I've got to get through this faster. Why is this video going to be so long and no one cares? Maybe you do. She had been spiky hair. Honestly, not my favorite. I'm sorry, Juki. <laughs> uh, the spiky hair is not my favorite, but it's not bad here. It's much better in these photos than it is in Tempo. Like, in Tempo, I don't like his hair. And Sehun, love this color on him. Like, I love the darker orange. Like, the burnt orange instead of the orange from Cocoa Bop. That's a great picture. Oh, Chen. Ah! Chest. <laughs> Exposed chest. He looks great in Azura, too. Of course they do. They all do. Honestly, not a big fan of the shirt, but it works for, like, the whole biker gang thing going on. Oh, my gosh. Why see who looks up in a helmet? Ah! Ah, that is probably my favorite black and white one from here. He looks so good. He kind of looks like Kyungsu in this picture. Huh. <clears throat> and then it's the lyrics, which are, are they, they're just like written very weirdly in like one little block, like, like what? It's like one little block of text for the lyrics and it just says repeat <laughs> when they have to repeat it. That's funny. Oh. All right. That was a little flip through. <laughs> what? Well, what am I doing? All right. That'll be it for this video. <laughs> I really enjoyed this album though, which is awesome. Awesome. And then I do have obsession as well. I have two versions of obsession. <sighs> So I guess I'll do the same thing when I get to Obsession. Even though there's like, I have to flip through each member's little photo thing. So it might take a little longer. But I haven't heard any songs on Obsession except for Obsession. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and the other parts. Remember, this is part three. So you might be very confused about where the other ones are. They're up here. They're down there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.